Hello boys and girls, this is Arevit Magic and Tricks. In this tutorial I will talk about uh, a very important thing and that is uh, what is the difference between the model line and the detail line in Revit. Okay, if you like uh, the videos I make, please subscribe this channel. It means a lot to me to making videos like this. Go to Facebook and Instagram page, follow that. If you have some questions, please uh, be free to write below. And now uh, let's go to this tutorial. Okay, today uh, I will tell you what uh, is the difference between the model line and the detail line. If we go here to the architectural tab, and uh, here in the model uh, group we have this model line if i click here now i can uh, create a, some uh, model line or draw the model line here we have uh, these uh, draw tools and here we have uh, a line style that is a something similar uh, like in the AutoCAD uh, where we have the layers and uh, for uh, each uh, layer we can uh, create uh, the modification of the shape of that line. Uh, here we don't have the layers but we have the line style. This is a line style uh, what we have by default in the Revit and uh, this line styles uh, we can't uh, delete uh, or rename it. Here we have uh, uh, these lines that is uh, something like a default line in the Revit and if I go here and draw something like maybe this, now you can see here we have this rectangle with these green lines about the default this line style lines have this green color we can uh, edit that of course okay that is a model line what is a model line if i go here to the 3d you can see i can also in 3d see these lines because of that these lines are lines in the 3d world so we can uh, see that lines on all of our views if we go here to the east you can see here we have that line also here if i just go and and hide this uh, level you can see we have that line okay what is the different between the model line and the detail line if i go here to the annotate you have here a detail group and there we have this tool detail line if i click here you can see we have a same tools like we have a in the model line if we go here click and just create some another re rectangle now you can see that rectangle is a black line and uh, here in the level one we see all of this the model lines and detail line but if i go here to the 3d you can see we only see the model line why because this detail line is a 2d line in the 2d world or the line what we create only for this view only for the level one floor plan if we go to the east again you can see we don't have that line here but i can create some detail line here in the east elevation something maybe like this and if we go to 3d i don't have that line that is the most important uh, to know what is the difference this is a 3d line or a line in the 3d world and this is a line in the 2 the world or only for the view where we create that line if i go here and click to this model line 
you can see here we have in the graphics detail line is unchecked and we know that is a model line and here if we click to detail you can see detail line is checked and that is a detail line if i go to level one i can have some edit for this here if i click to this edit line i have this convert lines if i click here you can see the revit converted one line and this is now a model line and we can view that line in the 3d view world here also maybe not the east but but on the north you can see we have this uh, one line if i select this we have a fourth lines also if i click to the model line and go to the convert lines now this line is a 2d line or the detail line if we go to 3d now you can see we can't see that in the 3d world only in this view how we can edit the line style just go here to the manage and here on the additional settings we have a line styles and you can see here we have a something similar like in the AutoCAD in the layers of AutoCAD we have the category of our lines we have a line width or the, in the projection we have the line color and the line pattern all of these lines is a default lines with Revit we can't delete or rename that lines if I click here you can see I can't delete or rename but I can edit that if I go here to the lines you can see this line is a green if I click here and maybe change to the red something like this or maybe go here and use some ticker line and maybe this something like center now just go here and unchecked these thin lines and you can see the thickness of that line also if I go here to the line styles we can create our own subcategory of the line just go here to the new and say something like line 2 maybe and that is a subcategory of the lines and we have here something similar like uh, AutoCAD layer go here maybe something like this some blue and here we have something like I don't know dash and if I click here go to this line too you can see that line here okay one more explanation for this if I go here and create some wall we said that th this model line is a line in 3d world so we can create that line all in that 3d world just go here to the model line create something like this and if i click here you can see we have the edit work plane and the pick new work plane if i go here and the pick uh, new i can move this line here in the level one if i go again to model line and here in the placement plane i just go to the pick plane and go here to the pick plane i can now pick all the surface in my model maybe we choose this wall and now we can create the line on that wall and if i go here to north i'm sorry no, not to north to go to the south you can see that line we can't see in the north because we have this wall but you can see that line is another side of the our wall and that is a 
simple explanation uh, what we must to remember this model line is a line in the 3d world and this and this detail line is a line only for this view if we want to draw some details or or something like that okay that's all for this tutorial i hope i was able to explain the difference between the model line and the detail line this is a very important thing for all users to understand at a very beginning uh, of using the Revit. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. It means a lot to me to making videos like this. Go to the Facebook and Instagram page, follow that. If you have some question, please uh, be free to write below and see you next time.